For the big story, explosive developments coming out of Michigan State University. Tonight, the fallout is growing in the wake of the Larry Nassar scandal. Michigan State Athletic Director Mark Hollis is out. He's stepping down over growing criticism of the handling of the crisis. Coaches Tom Izzo and Mark D'Antonio are under fire amid a bombshell ESPN report and Michigan State's Board of Trustees, many of them in tears, apologizing to victims and promising change. Providing sunlight on what we are doing well, but more importantly, what we are doing not well is imperative. We must empower the victims of sexual abuse and opening up to the public about what we are doing to protect them is essential to accomplishing that goal. It has infuriated me. I am so truly sorry. We have failed you. Because of the hero heroism of Rachel Den Hollander, Lindsay Lemke, Kaylee Lorenz, and all the other survivors, a serial predator has been given his death warrant. The board also announcing that Bill Beekman will temporarily replace President Luanna Simon, who resigned this week amid the scandal. All of this as a student protest is set to get underway tonight. Our Team 7 coverage starts with Jim Kurtzner live in East Lansing. Jim. Yeah, and I have more on the resignation of the athletic director. Mark Hollis calling it an early retirement, not a resignation. He kept on a game face. He says he has no regrets, and he says he had no information from anyone else here at the university about the Nasser case. Every decision I made was a good one at the point when I, when I made it. Um, I, like, like everyone, you get frustrated that there's not enough dialogue about it. Mark Hollis has been athletic director for 10 years and says even with leaving, he will cooperate fully with the investigations that will examine who knew what and when in the Larry Nassar sexual assault case. It goes back 20 years with more than 150 victims. As much litigation occurring, um, that is in that realm. I'm not privy to all those conversations. Hollis says he never met Nasser. He did not respond to specific questions from news reports. The people still on the Michigan State University staff were informed by victims about Nasser. Even if he did have information as athletic director, he says he was not the one to get to the bottom of it. As an AD, you learn very quickly, don't investigate, don't prosecute, and don't judge. Um, allow those that do that process to do it and then you have to make decisions on the outcome of that process. The Hollis retirement will be effective next Wednesday. Now we touched on the Board of Trustees meeting here this afternoon and their comments about the so-called Nasser survivors, their contrition. They're saying they've been tone deaf, they haven't done enough. Is that just enough for them to save their jobs? See how they answer my questions coming up next hour at six. A lot of moving parts to the story, including the students. With that part of the story, here's Alan Campbell. Jim, thank you. Yeah, tonight the students here at MSU are planning to rally in protest, but they have spoken out. Just take a look behind me here. You can see the rock. It's been painted. It says thank you with the heart underneath with some of the names of the survivors. And underneath that, it says march for them. Hashtag time is up. But let me just show you what's happening around here. This is quite a big scene in front of the rock. We've got journalists over here to my left, journalists from all over, some from Detroit, some from just northern Michigan. You can see them all over here as well. We've got some students here too. Some students just showing up now with signs. Of course, they're all out here to protest. They were originally out here to protest and ask for the resignation of president here at MSU, Luana K. Simon, but since that has happened, they are now asking that the Board of Trustees do the right thing and to protect the students. Also tonight, there is a basketball game. MSU is going to be playing Wisconsin. A lot of the people who are here and who are going to be protesting and marching who will be attending that game, they're asking everyone to wear teal t-shirts to teal the is-zone. So they're asking for that tonight. Also, all the people who are going to be in the march and the protest, they're asking them if they're going to be talking about this on social media to use the hashtag Time's Up MSU. For now, reporting live here in East Lansing, I'm Alan Campbell, 7 Action News. All right, thank you so much, Alan. The trouble is far from over for MSU. ESPN has an explosive report on Michigan State Athletics, and it is highly critical of Tom Izzo and Mark D'Antonio. The seven investigators will show you what's inside that report ahead at 6.